Canada has made a major commitment towards zero emission vehicles. And yesterday, the federal government announced a zero emission transit fund program. So we're going to talk to Grace Riley of QTRIC about that. Welcome to the interview, Grace. Thanks for having me, Markham. Well, look, let's start with the basics. Uh, what exactly did the federal government announce yesterday? Well, a very, very exciting day for the transit industry yesterday. The Government of Canada, and more specifically Infrastructure Canada, um, really launched the Zero Emission Transit Fund program. So if you remember back in March of this year, they announced $2.75 billion for zero emissions transit. Um, and this is really that money coming to fruition. So what kind of... Uh programs or uh, will be available under the fund? Yeah, so great question. There's a few. So um, basically what they've done is they've split it into two different parts. Uh, one for planning. So any transit agency or municipality who needs to plan for the electrification of their transit, but then also on the capital side. So buying the buses and funding the infrastructure. So they have those two main portions and there's, you know, different aspects of how people can apply um, or what they can apply for, but those are generally the two streams. Yeah, when you say planning for uh, electric uh, transit, it's really not just as, uh, as easy as switching out electric buses for diesel buses, is it? Absolutely not. So this is something at QTRIC we're very, very passionate about. Planning for the electrification of transit is vital. So as you said, it's not just about buying buses, uh, buying electric buses, whether that be battery or hydrogen fuel cell, but it really is a whole systems overhaul. And what we mean by that is you have to plan for the infrastructure and uh, the charging needs and the utility portion of everything. So it's not just as simple as buying the buses. And so that really does mean that you have to plan smart. So don't buy buses and your infrastructure on a sales pitch. You really have to look into the physics and mathematics of how this is going to be possible for your agency and plan it, um, plan it well with, you know, the science facts behind it. Now, uh, the transit authorities that uh, are members of your uh, organization uh, have been doing pilot projects and undertaking, you know, sort of beginning this process for a while now. And uh, what kind of experiences have they had to date? So um, lots of experience to date with many of our members. Um, as you might be aware, we have um, TransLink, York Region and Brampton Transit, um, who are all members of QTRIC. They are currently in a pan-Canadian electric bus trial, which means that they have battery electric buses on the roads at the moment. So they've gone through this already. They have done the planning with QTRIC and now they've got their buses and their chargers on the road. Um, and all of them, all 18 of them are actually on as of now, which is very exciting. We also have um, members like the TTC with um, a bunch of buses on the road and so many more um, in procurement. So they have about 300 in order. We've got Winnipeg Transit, Guelph Transit, so many transit agencies across the country um, looking to get their buses on the road if they don't have a couple on the road already. So it's a very exciting time. And with this funding announced yesterday, it's really going to speed up the process of getting these uh, zero emission buses on the road. I, I'm going to ask you to look into your crystal ball, uh, Grace, and how long is it likely to take for you know, Canada's bigger municipalities to switch over from diesel to electric buses? Great question, and I do wish I had a crystal ball, but I think there, there's a few uh, indicators that can help us um, really plan that out. So number one is, you know, do the municipalities have targets yet? So is there a mayor calling for climate action plans? Is there a um, municipality calling for um, zero emission buses to be on the roads by a certain date? So we look at that to see, you know, how quickly we think uh, transit agencies and municipalities are going to zero emissions. And, you know, it's it's definitely um, 
you can see already with the TTC taking over that they have um, many, many buses in procurement at this moment or that they're planning for. Um, OC Transpo in Ottawa have also just announced that they are going um, fully electric um, over the next couple of years. So it's exciting to see that all of these commitments are being made by the decision makers, policy makers, um, and really it's now to, to gear up our transit agencies and help them get there. My impression, Grace, from the interviews I've done with Qtrick and also with uh, with other you know manufacturers, that sort of thing, is that we're at the beginning of the electrification of North American transit systems, but that it'll get better and cheaper as time goes on. Is that when, what? Can you give us an idea what kind of what a timeline looks like, maybe? A great question. I think we've come a long way in the past couple of decades. So as you are aware, it, used, it started all with electric cars. Um, electrifying transit seemed like a very difficult thing to do and a very expensive thing to do. That's something that we're still working on. So um, with battery electric buses, they, you know, they're a good amount more um, are more expensive than diesel buses right now. Um, but you know, they've they've come down in price over the past couple of years. Same with hydrogen fuel cell buses. They are currently still a, a good chunk more than battery electric buses, but we're trying to get that price down. And the, the only way you can get the price down is to be able to do mass procurement. So um, by making you know, hydrogen more feasible and, and more available, we'll be able to buy buses more cheaply in the future. So with this announcement, I think it's a great way to, to put zero emission buses on the map to give our transit agencies the real opportunity to start procuring and then that will you know bring down the cost over years to come. Now one of the topics that I've interviewed your CEO uh, Josipa Petrunic about is the use of automated shuttles and other kinds of related technologies with the electric buses. Uh, are we going to see under this fund or other funds more of that kind of uh, development uh, and adoption by the transit agencies. A great question. I don't don't quote me on this. So I, I believe that this is really just focused on zero emission buses, um, because zero emission buses are expensive and they need a a real way to um a real kickstart to get them on the roads. However, you know, there are many different funding programs across feder the federal and provincial governments at the moment on automated shuttles. Um, at Qtrick, we are working with a couple of partners at the moment on an autonomous shuttle program. So we are hoping to get that project off the ground in the next couple of years, working with the provincial government and the federal government, of course, to, to really get that kickstarted and get these autonomous shuttles on the road in Canada. Yeah, I think that's very interesting. Um, Josep has made the point that uh, the automated shuttles have the uh, potential to solve the first mile, last mile problem in yeah. big urban environments. But thank you, uh, Grace, thank you very much for this. Really appreciate your insights. Thank you very much for having me.